Coming in, you guys, is day number 123 of my 365 day Jimmy Ice Bath Challenge. If you're brand new to this, I have been going live on Instagram all year long at 5 p.m. Eastern time every single day doing a 32 degree Fahrenheit temperature ice bath uh, for five minutes. Well, the past few days I have not been going live because in the month of May I'm away working on a book about cold therapy. And so this week I've actually been out of town on vacation, getting a little bit of rest and relaxation before really hitting the book really hard over the next few weeks. So I have been traveling and I'm currently in a Hampton Inn room as you can see. And I have, if you watched yesterday's video, I have a shower. <laughs> so I have to do the whole ice shower thing so I've got the shower, I've got a cooler full of some ice in here. And so today I wanna to talk about a topic that I think is gonna be helpful for those of you who are doing cold therapy, you're kinda of new to this, you're really not sure how do you do cold therapy. Well, I wanna make it as easy as one, two, three. So today is day number 123, so why not do a play on those numbers, one, two, three. Cold therapy is as easy as one, two, three, and let's start with one. Number one, you gotta get your mindset right. You can't go into a cold shower and expect it to go well if you don't already start with, I'm a warrior, I'm a champion, I'm going to do this. I am not afraid of what comes out of that nozzle. A lot of people are. I was just talking to a really good friend of mine and telling her about the uh, showers that I've been doing on the road and I've got ice and a chest to rub all over me and everything. She's like, ugh, you crazy, what? And so, uh, yes, it can seem crazy if your mindset is not right. You have gotta get your mindset to do this right. All right, so I will start that, that's step one, mindset right. My mindset is right. We'll talk about steps two and three once I get in there. Let's go ahead and set this up. I will turn on the cold water, get it going. All right, so it's plenty cold. Step one, mindset. This is not to be feared. You wanna slap this, eh, eh, eh. Slap it, make it your bitch. Sorry if that offends somebody, but you know what I'm saying. This is not going to scare me, and it does not. It doesn't scare me at all. So number one, that's what you do. Get your mindset right. Number two, this one is so important and you've heard me talk about this quite a bit, you guys. Number two is you've got to breathe. Listen to me. If you don't breathe, you can't do cold therapy. You have to breathe and breathe through all the nervousness, breathe through, through all the pain because it's just perception. You're not in any danger, you're not gonna be harmed, you can do this. So number two is breathe. It's as easy as one, two, three. Get your mindset right. Breathe. Keep breathing, guys. As you're doing this, you're gonna have the propensity, if you're not used to doing this, to wanna to hold your breath. Do not hold your breath, breathe through it. Soak all that cold in. And this is a very cold shower, so breathe your way through it. All right, so I got my head plenty cold. I'm gonna start working on the other parts of my body. This is quite cold, so you breathe through it. I am a warrior. So the mindset, got the mindset right. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make this cold by you know what. Number two, I'm gonna breathe through it. And 
number three, once you've done mindset, once you've done breath work, the third thing is so important. You ready for it? Endure. Endure because the propensity will be once you get into the cold water that you won't be able to stay for long. And okay, you don't need to stay super long, but you want to stay long enough. And I, I want to encourage you that whatever time that you arbitrarily think you can do, try to push it a little longer. I think sometimes that's a self-limitation that we put on ourselves because we think, oh, this is so horrible. Let me get out of it as soon as possible. And not that I think longer means better, but I think sometimes we prematurely get out of the cold because, well, I said I would do one minute and I did one minute and it's done. No, because if you endure, watch what's happening, guys. I am in this cold water and now I'm right at about four minutes or so of doing this. And I endured through, and obviously I'm used to going longer in an ice bath, so it's not as bad for me, but I am enduring to get to that point where this is not painful anymore. And it's not. This is not uncomfortable. It's still cold, but I've endured to the point where this has now become bliss. This has now become enjoyable. I'm now feeling that feedback that this gives me of things good happening. Again, when you first get in, having all that water hit your head, that's gonna freak you out a little bit. That's where the mindset and the breathing come into play. But this enduring one is so very important. All right, I'm plenty cold from the cold water. It is extremely cold. I mean, I'm very impressed with the cold water here at the Hampton Inn. All right, so let me grab some ice like I've been doing. And we're gonna we're gonna up the intensity of the cold. I'm not really feeling, I mean, it's a little colder uh, than the, the cold water coming out of there, but not much. I mean, that, that's got to be in the 40s easily, that temperature of the cold water. So I'm very impressed. I can't get my cold water at home to get that cold. So this is good. This is really good. All right, guys. Ooh. When you get to this point of enduring, guys, you don't want to get out. It's so nice. And I've said this before, but I'm going to say it again. When you get to this point where you set your mindset right, you breathe your way into the cold, you're able to have that cold water just pummel you on your head. And maybe you're crazy enough to grab some ice like Jimmy and just start rubbing it all over your head. Maybe you get to this point of nirvana and you're just like, oh. you're gonna get the benefits of this. And if you're stressed, if you're anxious, if you're having a bad day, if you didn't sleep well, if you just in general need a pick me up, Rather than turn to like some caffeine, rather than turn to some other, you know, upper of some sort, try a cold shower. I mean, it's as simple as just getting under the running water. And as much as my friend boo-hooed this right before we, right before I came on the air here, she was just like, I don't know how you do it, Jimmy. It's just so intense and so bad. I'm like, you're only thinking about the first few seconds of this and not the totality of what it is. Wrap your head around that this takes a process and lots of acclimation. I've gotten to this point where this is very, very easy for me because I've done it so long. And you're going to get to that point as well. All right, so that was a nice, long, cold shower. 
Um, I really enjoy getting wet like that. That's really nice to cool the body down, which I wasn't hot, but it's nice to, uh, nice to have that ability to just pop into a cold shower and avail yourself of this. Guys, it's free. Yeah, you pay the water bill, but if you're in a hotel room, stay in that cold water as long as you want to. Don't make this into something that you loathe. Make it into something that you look forward to. And so once again, one, two, three. This is as easy as one, two, three. One, mindset right. You're gonna do this. Two, breath work. Your breath is your friend. And then the third one is endure. Get through it. And then watch as you endure how much you want to endure. It's pretty darn cool. All right, guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. As always, go follow me over on Instagram at Livin Low Carb Man, L I V I N L O W C A R B M A N. And that's where you can get all of uh, the everything that I've been doing about the ice bath videos. When I go back live again in June, that's where you'll be able to see these first live at 5 p.m. Eastern time. So if you're watching on YouTube, on Facebook, Twitter, or on Instagram, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to continuing. I'm on my vacation for another couple days, so I'm here today. Then I've got an ice bath. Tomorrow will be the last one. We'll, we'll be the ice shower one more time. Although, although, there is a very nice little river here in Cherokee, North Carolina, that it was like 50 degrees outside this morning. And I stopped by the river and I felt it and it was super cold. I'm thinking maybe my last day here, uh, which I go home Thursday, so I'll be doing my ice bath from the Morozco Forge on Thursday, but the last day here tomorrow, maybe I get into that cold water out there. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to do the cold water river as my ice bath tomorrow. That'll be tricky to film, but I'll, I'll do my best. I'll bring the tripod and hope it doesn't get knocked over, but that would be a lot of fun to do as the final cold therapy of my vacation. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye everyone.